Hello there and welcome to another edition of Manitowoc Ice Tech Facts. My name is Jason MacDonald, Technical Service Trainer here at Manitowoc Ice. Today we're going to talk about installing the Universal Ice Management Kit, the K00477. First thing I want to show you is what's going to come in this box. We've got a set of instructions which we'll be following. We've got the bin level probe itself. We've got some hardware and a zip tie. We'll show you where that goes later and the bracketing itself. Let's get into what we're gonna be doing. You only need a few tools. I'm gonna to use a drill, maybe a screwdriver to get something started just so I don't uh, cross thread it. But overall, you need a 5 16 nut driver and a Phillips screwdriver. All right, so we're gonna show you basically what is step three of this procedure in the document. We're gonna route this wire and we're gonna connect this bin level probe to this bracket. So I'm gonna pull the wire through. You can see this end here is gonna go into this hole. So we're gonna get that going by hand. We're snapped in. We're gonna rotate it to line up this hole and then use a screw to mount it here so it will not be able to be pushed by any agitation of ice. Doesn't need to be over tightened. So there we are. At that point, you're gonna need the second bracket and you wanna come in six inches from where you're going to mount this. So we're gonna need two other screws. I'll stage these in my pocket just so I don't lose them. Gonna route our wire to the back. Yes, I know we're doing this on a bin, but I don't have a dispenser to do this on. And this is where it gets confusing. This end and this end are gonna hug where you mount this. So you need only two of these. And then you see the two holes, you're gonna screw those in. I'm just gonna start those by hand. Key with this is you want this to be pointing into the hopper. We want this to prevent any sort of sweat between the ice machine and the storage here. So that's where this needs to go. And now this is in place. All right, so give us some time. We're gonna put a nice machine on. We're not gonna show you all those steps and we will show you the routing of the wire. So we got our wire. We're gonna, we need to route this to the control box of the ice machine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in through the back. You'll notice this machine is unplugged, so we're not worried there. I'm gonna pop this piece off that I pre-staged. I just kind of slid around it to break that loose and now it's off but we don't want to be cutting our wires, so we got this guy here. All right, so at that point, I'm gonna route my wire. This can get hard as you're going through, but there's a hole right here that I'm gonna go through. What we're trying to do now is route this to the control box somehow. So we're gonna pull our wire through and I'm gonna come in through this empty hole here. Again, you wanna do all this with power to the ice machine secured. So now you'll see that I'm through. We've got four thermistors that we normally use. This plugs into T5. Plugged into T5, we're snug. It's not coming loose. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to coil up some of our excess So now we want to screw this into one of the holes of the back of the ice machine. I'm going to use this one so that way our slack is pretty much going to be gone. And we have a bin probe plugged in. At this point, you'd boot up the machine and then you would see that it would start reading T5. Instead of negative 22, it's gonna read whatever the temperature is. Right now, there's no ice in here, so it's gonna read room temperature. The machine now will shut off off the bin level probe instead of just off of the curtain. When the machine is off, you'll see program mode. You'll be in continuous mode, but now you have seen how the bracketry and how the bin level probe mount in to a hopper. The key is you want it to be where the machine meets where the ice is being stored. That prevents sweating and any of that trickle down that you'll see on the side of a dispenser. Thank you for tuning in. If you did like everything that you saw, can you do me a favor? 
please like and subscribe on our YouTube channel.